Alright, well this is a demo of uh, Project Rainfall and I guess an explanation of how it works and everything. So, uh, first of all, uh, this part here is obviously the uh, evaporative core. And evaporative core basically works where as the uh, air that's coming in through the fan at the bottom of the computer gets vented over this, uh, through this channel and hits the water. As it rises up, it gathers all the water vapor inside the chamber, and when it gets to the top of the chamber, it's then uh, removed from the computer. And uh, right now, the water's at the pumps at the uh, lowest setting, fans are at the lowest setting, so this is basically a uh, idle. And right now, I'm getting 22 degrees Celsius idle at 20 degrees Celsius ambient temperature. So, it, it can get pretty low for an idle temp. Um, there's no radiator whatsoever on the computer right now. Um, the evaporative cooler is the only system. Then it's got the uh, Corsair H60 water block, minus the pump inside, because I'm using a Danger Den CPX Pro pump, instead with all uh, quarter inch uh, vinyl tubing and stuff. Uh, Anyways, this is the uh, pump turned up to max, so you actually got to see some rainfall with it. So you can actually get some decent streams of water coming down. And up in the top you have the uh, drain the drainage area where all the water fills up. There's a port in the back where, in case that gets plugged up, it will uh, fall down through a... Uh, Pretty much a safety, just that way the water doesn't flow over into the rest of the computer. Overall, it's pretty safe. This piece right here, there's a baffle that pretty much prevents any water from um, getting out to the fan. So, in other words, if that water wanted to get out or could get out, it would go up and over, down and out. So, it's pretty difficult to do that. And even with the water just splashing, and I've, I still haven't seen any water get in there, so it works pretty well. And right now, like I said, the fans are at the lowest setting, so I'm going to turn up the fans and you'll be able to see some, see it actually running. Now, if you watch right here, you'll actually see the water move to the side. It does that because as the air is pumped in through here, it goes up and over and out through the vent and then out. So because the, water, the air is traveling across the inside of the cooler, it's pushing the water over to the side. It pretty much shows you that it's actually working and everything. And it can move a significant amount of air. It usually kills about a gallon of water every 12 hours or so. But um, it can hold up to about 4 gallons right now. You can't really see the other 3 gallons because they're all in the uh, external tank that I have uh, off to the side. I'm not going to show you, but uh, anyways, yeah, hope you liked it.